It's just been reported that an employee for the company that made the Titanic submersible was fired after doubting its ability to go to extreme depths. The man warned that the submersible was only certified to go 1,300 meters or 4,200 feet and reported that OceanGate didn't want to pay out additional costs to ensure that the submersible was safe. OceanGate, the company responsible for the lost Titanic submersible, faced criticism in 2018 from a former employee regarding the safety of the hull of the vessel. Per court records, OceanGate terminated its worker David Lockridge in 2018 for voicing safety concerns pertaining to the submersible. The company filed a lawsuit against him during the same year, alleging that Lockridge had violated his employment agreement by disclosing sensitive details when he reported the matter to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration as a whistleblower. In a response to OceanGate's lawsuit, Lockridge alleged in a 2018 court filing that he had been wrongfully terminated and that his actions were aimed at ensuring the safety of passengers on the submersible called the Titan. The Titan is now the focus of a massive search in the North Atlantic after it went missing during a dive to the wreckage of the Titanic with five passengers on board. In his complaint, filed in the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Washington, Lockridge alleged he had raised concerns about the safety of the Titan with OceanGate and advised the company to conduct more testing of the vessel's hull. Lockridge said he had disagreed with his employer about the best way to test the safety of the sub and that he objected to OceanGate's decision to perform dives without non-destructive testing to prove its integrity. According to a legal filing by Lockridge, the experimental design, lack of non-destructive testing of the hull, and use of hazardous flammable materials within the submersible were not disclosed or explained to the paying passengers who were on board. According to the document, Lockridge expressed concerns that the company's experimental submersible could expose passengers to significant danger. In 2018, the Manned Underwater Vehicles Committee of the Marine Technology Society sent a letter to OceanGate expressing concerns about the safety of their submarine. The committee was apprehensive about OceanGate's experimental method, potentially resulting in catastrophic repercussions that could affect the industry. News have been able to obtain a copy of the letter. OceanGate did not provide a prompt response to a comment request. Regarding the allegations made by Lockridge, the attorney declined to comment and instead expressed his wishes for the safe return of everyone involved. In a legal document, Lockridge, an experienced submarine pilot and underwater examiner, stated that he has been instructed to identify defects and potential weaknesses in underwater equipment. He was employed at OceanGate, where his primary responsibility was to guarantee the safety of both the crew and customers during underwater and surface operations. The vessel known as the Titan utilized carbon fiber material in constructing the hull capable of transporting individuals to depths of up to 4,000 meters. Lockridge, in the court filing, alleges that no carbon fiber constructed sub has ever reached such depths. OceanGate still wanted to move forward with the plan to take its passengers to a depth of 4,000 meters, despite the vessel only being certified to withstand a pressure of 1,300 meters. Lockridge has raised concerns about the company's plan to depend on an acoustic monitoring system to detect possible damage or collapse of the sub's hull. According to the filing, Lockridge states that this system may not be helpful in emergency situations as it would only provide prompt alerts of imminent issues, which may not be enough to prevent a catastrophic event. According to Lockridge, the ocean vehicle required more testing to confirm its hull's durability under extreme deep-sea conditions. He emphasized that non-destructive testing was crucial in pinpointing any defects that could compromise the safety of the passengers and crew and to guarantee a robust and secure product. According to these documents, instead of dealing with the concerns, OceanGate terminated Lockridge. The company purportedly provided him with only 10 minutes to clear his desk and leave the building. According to industry professionals and past travelers, the expedition that the crew of the Titan submersible were undertaking was highly perilous. The submersible had to endure immense pressure at nearly 4,000 meters below sea level, equivalent to where the Titanic sank, and also faced the possibility of becoming lost or losing contact with the surface. Although it is premature to determine the cause of the incident, industry specialists have expressed concerns regarding the adherence to proper safety protocols. OceanGate's CEO and founder, Stockton Rush, is currently unaccounted for. Rush, 
who has extensive engineering expertise and has led multiple expeditions to the Titanic since 2021, was on his fifth trip. According to OceanGate and current employees, the vessel that Rush created contained several groundbreaking safety measures. Passengers were duly notified of the possible hazards. As recounted by Mike Rice, a Titan traveler from last year, the liability waiver he signed prior to his journey mentioned the possibility that he might not return on three separate occasions. It seems that the company continues to refine its processes and learn from their experiences since glitches can occur. Rice has taken three different trips with the firm and he has almost consistently experienced loss of communication during his dives. According to sources, the submersible followed all the standard checks and procedures before embarking on its journey. However, reports have emerged questioning the adherence of the vessel to industry safety guidelines. The Marine Technology Society, a collective of ocean engineers, policymakers, technologists and educators, has voiced apprehension about the Titan development and the proposed Titanic explorations. The group has cautioned against OceanGate's current experimental approach. The matter in question pertained to whether the Titan ship would undergo an independent evaluation by regulatory bodies or risk evaluators within the industry. OceanGate received criticism from the Marine Technology Society for promoting the Titan design's ability to surpass safety standards in their marketing material without having the vessel evaluated. DNV, an independent organization considered as the foremost classification society for the maritime industry, certifies submersibles and formulates regulations for these products. The DNV classification process evaluates vessels like Titan, determining whether they adhere to internationally recognized rules and includes assessments during both the construction and operation phases. The Marine Technology Society advised implementing a prototype testing program which should be reviewed and observed by DNVGL as a basic recommendation. So, what do you make of these documents that show a former employee being fired for doubting the submersible's ability to go to extreme depths, and what do you think happened to it? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.